So who is the master, the body or the mind? <laughs> Bonjour, la is faultless, it's Claire from IntegralityAlive.com. With practical body, mind, body uh, wisdom and tools for busy humans. And um, today I'm going to do something I didn't want to do. <laughs> because um, the other day I was reading um, a Facebook group I'm part of. And I was reading in a comment someone mentioning embodiment as a buzzword. Ah, it just felt so wrong to me. So I just had to do what I didn't want to do for years. And that is kind of defining what embodiment is to me. <laughs> because yes, embodiment has become a buzzword, but it's so much more than that. It's, it's a truth I'm, I'm living for, for more than 10 years now. Oh yeah, much more. So... Look, I didn't want to, to go in, in that because it's very diverse. It's a very diverse, diverse field um, with many different voices. Uh, you can have an idea of that, by the way, uh, in the embodiment conference. So yes, I, this is the embodiment conference I told you about a few weeks um, ago. I gave a, a, a talk, a presentation two weeks ago in, the, in, in this online summit. It's rerunning uh, for free next weekend. So that's uh, it's now is a good moment to go in and see it um but overall it's a very nice way to see what i mean because it has 10 different channels on the top of my head i won't be able to cite all of them but there is yoga there is uh, martial arts dancing uh, somatic psychology uh, trauma coaching and therapy which is my thing so all of these are represented in embodiment you can do all of these through an embodied perspective. Now, can you see how diverse this can get? <laughs> okay, so that was, um, that said, um, let's talk about it. And yes, I'm annoyed actually by the fact that today embodiment is too many a buzzword. And I'm annoyed, honestly, to see it uh, a bit like Zen in one at one point, you know, it's Zen everything, the Z then or of uh, I don't know of waking up of <laughs> of planning the Zen of and and today it's a bit the same with embodiment. Um, so many people, including coaches, actually a lot of coaches, use it without knowing what they're talking about. How you can know it? Because it's talking, they are not embodying it. It's not living in the body, it's living only in the head. Like coaches asking, totally in a rational way. So, um, uh, where are you feeling that in your body? And of course I'm exaggerating, but I saw a lot of people do that. And just because you used some words like embodiment, like in your body, like it doesn't mean you are embodied or this is an embodied way of doing. Well, it's, it's like they, they learned something and it's part of the process for them. So step one, you have to ask, so where is it in your body? And that's it. It's just a step in a, in a process. Or uh, another example is uh, people... Um, well, actually, let me just finish on that. One way of, of saying that, if you are facilitated by someone who is pretending, <laughs> and maybe they are totally honest on that, and maybe they were just... The teaching they got was confusing, was presented as embodiment, whereas, honestly, it, it wasn't. And it can lead to them. I mean, it's embodiment is something you cannot facilitate unless you facilitate it from your body. If you yourself go for there first, are embodied first. So the kind of answers you will get, and if you're a coach, maybe you will recognize that. Many people answer to questions on physical sensations, for example, from here. Oh, I think I'm, well, that's 
the one hint that they don't answer from the body. They don't answer from this physical sensation. They are answering from a thought, from I believe, from, and the body doesn't believe, the body tells you what it is and that's it. But when you ask something and you're disconnected from the body, you get disconnected answers or that person is already embodied well, and you should learn from them. <laughs> it's like the difference, you know, with the, I mean, I'm sure you can understand that. These kind of um, questions, if you ask them from the mind, it's like explaining someone how chocolate tastes instead of giving them a chocolate and having them experience how the chocolate tastes. There's nothing to do, right? The experience of something versus the rational, logical, intellectual understanding of that something are both great. They are not the same thing. Embodiment is an experience. So, okay, what is it? Well, uh, actually, what is it not? <laughs> it's not a process. Embodiment is not a process. It's not a skill. It's not a technique. There are many ways in which you can be embodied. There are many ways in which you can facilitate embodiment. Actually, embodiment is one of these things that is experiential. So you can only facilitate it or and work with it while you yourself are experiencing it and facilitating the experience of it. So it's a living, it's a leading from hmm, the body, but by body I mean more than physical body actually. So in in this probably some people won't be won't agree to that, but this is my vision of that. And as I said, well there are many, many definitions of embodiment. But for me, it goes beyond the schism, the gap between mind and body. This is just too straight, too, um, too little. But get, let me give you a, a few examples. Um, for, example, for example, when I was doing shiatsu, a lot of time, our clients would understand things at the end of the session just through touch. So we would, we would talk in the beginning of the session, and then I would manipulate, touch them, Shiatsu, then, without words. And then at the end of the, of the session, where, uh, honestly, the moment, uh, the conversation I was looking forward to, because then they would talk from a whole person, if I may say. They were reconnected to their body, and they, many times, they had understandings that they didn't understand intellectually. And that most often than not started with um, them being a bit ah, going around it and then saying something like, um, this is gonna sound stupid. And I was like, whoo, this is gonna be interesting. And they would say something with a very confused face because it didn't make sense to their rational, logical, intellectual self. But from an embodied uh, perspective, from the body, from the emotions, from it would make sense. It's just really difficult sometimes to put these in words because words are is the tool for the intellectual self, not the body. The body is movement, <laughs> is physical expression. It's not expressing uh, itself through words. And we learned in our society to put words on top of anything else for as long as we go, um, uh, as long as learning, understanding, explaining is concerned. So coming from an embodied perspective means sometimes words are not necessary. Uh, sometimes word can happen, but are not the most important thing that, ha that happens. And honestly, this is most of the time. Um, Using other, oh, let me give you another example. So uh, more closer to what I do today, coaching. Um, when I help a coaching client get, um, let's say, clarity or make decision from a somatic point of view, like somatic decision-taking, 
which is all about integrating physical body, the emotions, and others um, with the conscious, rational thinking. And all of this together gets information they couldn't have just by thinking their way through it. And it leads often to, to insights, to very interesting insights and to, to new ways of seeing things. It's um, for embodiment is a way of being. It's a, a way of being from the inside out. It's a, a way of being whole. Imagine, how would it be if you could uh, experience the world, if you could learn, if you could understand, not only from your rational self, but also from your physical self, uh, um, from your emotional self. Why not from your relational self or even from your spiritual self? How would it be if you could go beyond this opposition between mind and body and expand this view and step into acknowledging and expressing yourself? for all of these dimensions I just mentioned. I guess to me, this is embodiment. This is being whole. So I'm gonna leave you with that. What can you learn from your body today? What is it telling you? Like today, now, just for today, listen, and just notice. What can you learn from your body? What is it telling you? And tell me in words or in emoji if you want, what you heard, comment and, you know, I will reply. And feel free, by the way, to get in touch with me if you want more information and you didn't feel comfortable to ask in the comments. It's okay, I'm quite nice, actually. And thank you for being here. That's it. That was your weekly dose of peace, love, a mix of love and brutal honesty. Boom, your life just got easier. Subscribe to get the next ones and share to someone who needs to hear that today. See you in the next video. Bye. Au revoir.